Hey everybody, welcome into the Marvelous Marvel Discussion Arena, our show about all things Marvel here on the Arena Productions. I'm your host, Expat, and in this first episode of Season 2, uh, Episode 1 of Loki, I'm going to be giving my recap and review of the episode, but I want to just let everybody know that there are going to be spoilers throughout this uh, recap and review of uh, Loki Season 2, Episode 1. So if you've not watched the episode yet, please go to Disney+. Plus and check it out and then come back and uh, enjoy this recap and review episode we're doing here. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the episode. So obviously we get kind of, uh, you know, the a backdrop and of what happened, uh, everything that happened in season one. And then we get into the beginning of uh, the episode. Loki basically discovering he's uncontrollably warping across time uh, in, in the TVA the time variance authority and it, it's just interesting how it almost looks like he's ripped apart by shreds just instantly and then pops in and out of time uh throughout the headquarters uh and it's and it's really interesting uh of course uh, eugene cordero he's also the voice of rutherford in uh star trek lower decks you know he runs into him and uh there's a uh, of course as he's slipping through time uh, there's one of him that doesn't know who Loki is. And then he goes and, and then he slips back into the regular, uh, TVA time where he does know him and all. So basically in the past, the TVA is attempting to apprehend Loki, but in the present Loki, you know, reunites with Morbius, uh, Mobius and, uh, uh, you know, Mobius warns him. He warns him of the threat of the, the many, variants of he who remains so basically kang uh and of course what happens at the end of season one if you have watched that that is what is the catalyst for what's going on at the beginning of this season because he who remains is basically the tva's creator so loki and mobius go to meet this this technician this tva technician ouroboros and, and he's nicknamed ob and uh, of course, played by uh, Kei Hui Kwan, who is of course uh, forever in my heart as Short Round. I'll always think of him as Short Round, but uh, yeah, he's an amazing actor. So he deduces basically that Loki is is time slipping. So time slipping, uh, basically, it's a phenomenon that is caused possibly by uh, this instability of the timeline. Uh, branches, uh, which was caused at the end of season one when uh, Sylvie uh, killed uh, the, the that one Kang variant uh, who's referred to as he who remains. So to, to stop Loki's time slipping, OB is basically telling Mobius to approach the, the temp temporal loom with the temporal aura extractor device and it's interesting how when loki was slipping through time he was going back to different times with uh, ob and he was able to make this temporal aura extractor device to extract loki uh, from the time stream uh and uh, so as as loki basically is pruning himself so uh, loki time slips it to the future uh, he briefly encounters sylvie uh, uh played by uh, sofia di martino uh, she's she's just a great actress. And before he is pruned by someone at the last possible second, and uh, it's it's really cool in this episode how, of course, Mobius has to wear this suit and go out, and you see all the radiation just <laughs> starting to melt the suit as he's going out there to try to save Loki. Uh, so uh, yeah, so yeah, but Mobius successfully pulls Loki from the time stream. And then the two of them, basically, they're going to set out to find Syl uh, Sylvie, uh, just as you see all these TVA hunters uh, ordered by uh, General Docs. They're going through uh, the door and, uh, you know, they're 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 going after Sylvie now. So that was where the, the episode ends. But actually, it didn't really end there because we got a mid credit scene. Which is really cool because Sylvie enters like a, a timeline branch uh, in Broxton, Oklahoma in 1982. So Broxton is in the comics, uh, you know, uh, and that is a, a, a very uh, important uh, place 
Uh, I'm not going to get into the specifics of it here, but because uh, uh, I don't want to spoil more of it for you all. But uh, this has some significance in the Thor uh, comics. So, uh, yeah, Broxton, Oklahoma, 1982. And she 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 goes of all places. She walks into a McDonald's, you know, and uh, and the you see this guy, you know, uh, you know, the one of the staff members at the cash registers, you know, trying to talk to her about the menu. And then she's basically got her back to him and she says, I want to try everything, right? So, and that's where it ends. So yeah, an interesting start to the season. Uh, is Loki and Mobius going to be able to find her? We shall see. So let us know in the comments what you thought of this uh, first episode of season two of Loki. And uh, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for when we drop another episode of the Marvelous Marvel Discussion Arena, as well as uh, more episodes of Loki Season 2 here on the Arena Productions, as well as all of our content on the channel. So anyway, I've been your host, Expat, and I hope to catch you in the next uh, recap and review episode that we do for Loki Season 2 next week. So take care, everyone, and have a great week. Peace out.